Greetings, fellow Empyreans. I am Asherathi, and we are on Singularity. Once again, we are on Singularity because we are preparing for the Into the Abyss expansion. Before I go a little bit into what we're looking at today, which, spoiler alert, we are looking into the no, new PI system, but uh, before we jump into that, I do want to talk just a little bit about what is coming and why all of this is a big deal. So at FanFest... Uh, a couple weeks ago, we got announced that there is a new expansion coming. It's called Into the Abyss. It has brand new PvE content, a whole bunch of, uh, well, some new ships, new weapon systems, new ways of modifying existing equipment. Uh, and as part of all of that, there is a PI overhaul. So all of this is coming at the end of next month. Uh, so this is July, June, so what is it, May, May 29th? Uh, and that's going to be a big deal. So uh, this is the first real pass of things that have been, come on to Singularity. That is the stuff that we're going to be seeing in uh, Into the Abyss. And like I said, what we're going to be checking out is PI. So here we are in Fleet, where I build my robotics. And we're going to go look at my PI colonies in the new view. This is actually not my first look. This is my second look. I kind of poked at it a little bit the other day. Um, but here we go. We're going to check it out. So first things first, I open up my Neocom, and I'm going to go to... Uh, where even do they put these things? Um, planetary production. Ooh. And does it come up with anything? There we go. Okay, so immediately... This is a way cooler interface. It shows the type of planet uh, that things are on in a very visual way. And uh, it shows, I guess, it's, is it showing what things can be made? Or is it showing, what, I think it's just showing what kind of things I have on the planet, actually. Yeah, because these are the things that I'm extracting and whatnot. Okay, so I've got eight installations here, eight installations here, 25 installations there. So there's my three-part factory, right? So barren, lava, barren. So let's check them out one at a time. First of all, we're going to look at the barren. Now, I noticed this the first time. This feels a lot closer to the planet than before. Um, and those textures, those textures are pretty pretty painful this zoomed in maybe maybe we shouldn't be able to zoom in this far let's let's kind of find a happy a happy center happy medium okay so uh here is my situ situation let's see whether or not it's worth continuing to extract here um hmm. well let's go ahead so far this feels very similar to just before Although it does look a little different. So this feels like it's going to be a good place, but I, I kind of want to... Well, I, I just want to set where these go. So, And I already see that the thing that I wanted fixed most is fixed. At least fixed-er. I'd much bet rather you be able to input things via like text box as well as slider. But you know what? I will take it. So here we go. This is different. Um, this slider now actually can be slid and look makes sense. Uh, before, you couldn't actually slide it back and forth, so you just kind of had to click where your guess was and then adjust from there. This is better. Uh, still not the best, I think. There probably could be a better way of doing it, but um, hey, it's better. So I'm going to start the extraction. Let's see, it's 33,000 per hour. That's really good. And it looks like it's doing fine there. I'm going to submit that. Looks like that's fine. This is not doing it. What, what am I doing? Stop. Uh, this one's also doing fine, although 25,000. Let's go ahead and destroy this one and go get that juicy white stuff over there, huh? Submit. So how hard is it to build an extractor? Where are they? Extractor control unit. Let's scan for what I need. 
its uh, base metals. So I'm going to go right about there. Submit. And then I can, can I, what, how do I, I still have to do that? Do I still have to do that? Is there a better way to do it? I don't even know. Oh, now I can do multiple links though, like it's in link mode. I get that. So now it doesn't actually make it easier, but like once you start doing something, it's easier to keep doing the same thing over again, which is better. I get it, I guess. So this is the thing. I, I can now set this to one day super fast. That used to be way more painful than it than it just was. So I like that. Uh, I'd still like to be able to somehow get like max out my extractors without having to click on every single one of them. Like even if I could just click and drag to like activate them, uh, that'd be cool. But you know, if there's eight extractor heads, then that means up to eight clicks per time you move the extractor just to put out the same heads. I think that you could easily make a button that puts out all of the heads and then maybe you could even just click off the ones that you don't want. I think that should be an option too because I think that, you know, putting out all your extraction heads that you possibly can is a pretty firm use case that they could build around. Just saying. And then it says it's not routed. So see, look, it's red. Haha, -ha, it's saying, hey, there's something wrong. I feel like this is still pretty much the same. So the worst quality of life, the most egregious quality of life problems um, appear to be solved, but I don't know. Fundamentally, it feels like I'm still doing PI, for better or worse. Um, all right, let's check out my next planet. I don't like the fact that, let's see, hold on. Is there a compact mode? This needs a compact mode in the worst way because normally I have just my planets out here so that way I can right click and you know do that stuff on them and you know go between stuff and it just it doesn't this isn't working this is too much space for this data and and it doesn't condense well so if there's a compact mode so I could still look at all my planets without filling up this giant area that would be super cool. All right, next. How you doing? Oh, you got, you got plenty of stuff. You're not, you're probably not the guy that I'm worried about. Yep, no, it's this. Okay, let's see. Eh, I really don't need to move my, my sights around. Maybe I'll just move one just because. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just destroy this one just because. Uh, hold on. We're going to go here to decommission. Can I just decommission mode? Boom, 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 boom. Die. Why, why can't I kill that? Okay. Now I'm going to scan for CS crystals. Any white? Oh, barely white. I think that's my spot. All right, and build. Oh wait, no, I gotta scan for heavy metals too. Oh yeah, so we're, we're good. All right, so let's build uh, the extractor control unit so that way it goes right there. And then, uh, oh, see, this doesn't actually make anything easier. Basic industry, advanced industry, Launch pad, storage. Maybe I could have done this a different way, but I mean, boom. But now I can go link it up, link it up. So this is a, this is new. This is cool. All right. Uh, let's see. Submit. Everything's yelling at me because everything doesn't have 
what it needs. So once again, I have to click all of the extractor heads. Uh, and once again, I have to find one day because I can't save it as a default or anything. So that was already like an extra 10 clicks, actually 20 clicks. I have to move all my extractor heads, although I still, I mean, I think I would argue that this is probably a good thing. You know, like scanning, moving probes into specific formations are one thing, but really the whole point of this is that it's supposed to be individualized and a decision. So I like the fact that there's no like formations or auto placement in there. Uh, not routed, so let's route it. I can't just click on it. Oh, I, I can double click on it and then go there. That looks visually. What? <sighs> Never mind my Facebook. I don't get any messages all day, and then suddenly I try to make a video. Anywho, um, so this guy, you're making heavy metals. I can't do CS crystals? That's weird. I'm not sure what it's trying to say there. Maybe I just maybe I just didn't think about it, and it just meant that I selected this and they faded out in weird order or something. Either way, uh, once again, have to select uh, one day, just as kind of just as difficult as before. Lots of stuff here, so I don't really care. So go ahead and start extraction. Once again, like if I could, oh, can I do this? No, see that. Maybe? No. Darn it. So if I double click and then double click, does that create the route? It does! Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. That's okay. So then this is my basic industry for the for the heavy metals. So this would be toxic metals, I want to say. Toxic metals? Yeah, heavy metals. Oh, yeah, I can hover over it and see now. I think that's new, maybe. Yeah, I used to have to click on it to see, although. There we go, heavy metals. And we're going to route that back to here. And then this is going to look at this route for heavy metals. Oh, no, doesn't create a route. Inconsistent UI, that's always good. That's my favorite, right? I like it when the exact same pattern in two different places with the exact same thing does two different things. Sarcasm, sorry. Um, okay, so moving on. We're going here to, um, I think it's, yeah, chiral structures. And, oh, is it automatically creating a root? Okay. I'm with you on that. That was good. That was a good one. And then that goes back there. And then this one is mechanical parts, I believe, right? Hover over it. Reactive prep. Nope, it's not. Uh, so that makes it. Oh, am I on? What am I on? Am I on a lava planet? Ha. Huh. Okay, so that makes it computer consumer electronics. There it is. So once again, it automatically creates a route or you know opens up the route creating thing. So that's pretty cool. And now I can go here, but this part isn't that cool because I still have to go chiral structures, create route, there, there. I think. I don't know. Maybe there's a better way. I just haven't figured it out yet. Uh, toxic metals. Can I drag and drop it? No. Oh, that time it worked. Maybe. Maybe Maybe I... Uh, well, it looks like they're working on it. A lot of times double-clicking seems to help progress the, the, the process, which is nice. Uh, and this pattern, it's also set up. So actually, that wasn't too bad. Like I said, it, it's still fundamentally PI. Um, but the little improvements here and there make things better. There are definitely some rough edges that I wouldn't mind continuing to be worked on. 
And then just for funsy, we're going to go back to our factory planet to see if there's anything that we can learn here. Um, not really. Oh wait, that's not even the correct. That's not even the correct place. Let's go ahead and transfer that back up. See what happens if like we start a process. See if that looks any different or something. Boom. All right, and these factories are working. No, nope, looks pretty much the same. All right, so PI overhaul, pretty minor, but uh, looks like most of the stuff that they did is pretty cool. It looks like it's designed for two things. One, uh, your flow is controlled by double clicks. Maybe that even existed before, um, but I don't think so. I think they might've cleaned it up a little bit. Um, they fixed the slider a little bit. It's still not great, but at least you can like, it feels like a slider now. Um, and uh, if you're doing a repetitious task, so like you're put linking all of your structures together or you're dropping a bunch of the same structure, which might be useful, but ultimately I don't think is a huge value add. Um, I don't know. I think it's really, I think it's a good start. And I think that PIs needed a little bit of love. Um, and this definitely does that without necessarily changing the PI thing. The one major concern I have now is that again I used to have a really nice easy to use spreadsheet for all my planets that I could warp between so my use case is um, I'm not here I'm I'm out here and I now need to go between my planets and while this works right now because I've got these three planets this thing is huge so if I've got like four planets I want to warp between or if I want to warp the, you know whatever I this would be very difficult um, I like to be able to just have my list of places where my planets are, where I can easily warp between them and do my customs offices and, you know, whatnot. So losing that feels painful, um, but the rest of the small improvements are all right. Um, I would definitely like to see some polish on some of those details that were pointed out as I worked through it. Um, but either way, that was it. We we're going to be exploring a lot more of Abyssal features as they kind of come out and are worth looking at uh, and hopefully we will lead up to into the abyss with excitement and understanding and with all that i will see you in space